I grew up during the Jim Crow era, and so life for me and my because uh, uh, my friends and family and all of us who are African American grew up in a time when the rules were pretty straightforward. There are things that if you're a white American that you were privy to, if you're a black American, uh, it was a whole different story. Doretha Edgecombe marched for her rights in the 1960s civil rights movement. According to the Federal Reserve Bank, wealth disparity is just as bad now as it was in 1968, and black people are still being disproportionately hurt by federal systems in place. Nearly half a century later, Black Lives Matter protesters argue the fight for racial equality is far from over. Hundreds of them marched right here down Fowler Avenue to express that. This was a constitutionally defined peaceful protest. After less than two minutes, they did start firing pepper spray into the crowd. They did run towards the crowd. They did hold people down. Local groups organized peaceful protests around Tampa. They organized street cleanups, carpools, fundraising, and even prayer circles. Yet law enforcement met peaceful protesters with rubber bullets, tear gas, pepper spray, and handcuffs. After being arrested in Tampa, I've had like PTSD because I've understood the power and the, the amount of control that police officers have. If they wanted to lie on somebody's name right now and imprison them, for a certain amount of years, they could. Last month, Florida state representatives passed House Bill 1 in an attempt to make protesting punishable by up to 15 years in prison if it becomes a law. It also protects counter-protesters from legal penalty if they kill or injure a protester. Governor Ron DeSantis introduced what's known as the anti-riot bill after the killing of George Floyd sparked nationwide Black Lives Matter protests. All of this is just to suppress our voices. But look at us, we're still out here, you know, and. It still gets to me, but I'm still here, homie. The proposal of HB1 has highlighted legislative opposition to a system that has disproportionately hurt minorities. Activists hope strength in numbers will lead to progress. The Black Lives Matter movement was just nominated for the 2021 Nobel Peace Prize. It is now the largest movement in American history. Reporting in Tampa, I'm Deanna Lampasona.